Hey, this is Aaron. Today I'm standing in front of a 2021 Chevy Silverado 2500. <laughs> it's a, you know, it's a lot to remember and say, I guess. Big words, like multiple syllables. Anyway, so uh, this particular one ends in the red hot, aptly named red hot paint color. Uh, beautiful color, I love this. I've had several people compliment on that too. It's a, a great, just a, you can look at it, right? Uh, so this in particular has the Z71 off-road package uh, and otherwise is largely unchanged from that LTZ packaging. It's really beefy, really large, really nice. Let's have a look at it. Hey, this is Aaron from AaronOnAutos.com and today's review is brought to you by Stop Soldier Suicide. Find the link below, click, and donate. Appreciate it. So from the side you can see this is a very large truck. Uh, three quarter ton runs all the way back. It is a 2500. It's powered in this particular case by a 6.6 .6 liter V8 engine. Big beefy thing, really responsive. I really like it. Uh, nicely, nicely done there. Now the Z71 package that changed the rear axle to 3.93 I believe. I'll check it uh, and make sure I'm right on that. Also, uh, this has a couple of add-ons. So the LTZ Plus package adds a bunch of interior stuff, uh, electronics, better infotainment, all of that stuff. Uh, that's a fairly pricey package, but probably well worth it if you want those extra amenities. Uh, the Z71 off-road package, that starts with the, uh, the better shocks, the beefier tires and all of that. It's about $1,400, totally worth it. Also, uh, this has an add-on for the fifth wheel slash gooseneck uh, in the back. So in the bed, those are, those are uh, uh, ready to go right there. That's about 400 bucks. Uh, most people I think that buy this are probably gonna want that. So all in all, very, very well done truck. Big crew cab, uh, plenty of room, lots, you know, if you've been in any of these vehicles, it doesn't matter who you're buying from, they're all like that. Really nicely done. This also has the trailer in mirrors. So you see those, those electronically extend out and come back. Uh, and then they have little pony mirrors. I'll show you a picture of what those look like. So I promised you that I would show you a picture of these mirrors. Instead of doing that, I'm just gonna show you the mirror right here. You can see it's got the pony down here, that's hand adjustable. And then these are electric, you adjust them from the inside. You can see it's got the side light here. This, uh, this does not have extra cameras down here, but it does have, the engine just shut off. I think it's because I left it running. It doesn't like to idle. <laughs> All right, anyway. Uh, and then this electronically slides in and out. I'll show you that and uh, I'll show you how that works. I can't stand next to it and do it because I got to do it from in the truck. Pretty cool. There you go. So all in all, a really good package. I'll show you the Monroney and we'll go through the numbers as, as we look. So you're about 53,700 for this truck at the base. So that is the LTZ package at the base with the gas engine and so on. Then uh, adding on options, the LTZ plus package, that's, the, that's about $2,700, 2650. And that adds uh, front bucket seats with console, ventilated front seats, a rear sliding power, rear sliding power mirror, window mirror, you, you got, you know what I mean. Uh, universal home remote, which is a cool thing you can do from your phone. It uses it like an app to do stuff. Heated second row outboard seating, uh, power up and down tailgate. You can open it with the remote. So you can bust out the remote, hit it a couple times and it does that. Also has a remote start, has LED lighting in the cargo bed, lane change alert with side blind zone alert and a bunch of other stuff. So that's that package, which is fairly expensive, but it adds a lot of little creature comforts that just make little things easier in this truck. On top of that, this is the Z71 Sport Edition. It's about 1470 for that. You're adding this black badging and trim. You're adding body color bumpers, other stuff. Really nice one. The gooseneck package, I mispriced that before. That is 1340. I was thinking about the safety package after that. 
that's a little bit expensive for a gooseneck package, but from the factory, you really need that uh, if you're gonna do that, you know, if you're gonna use it. Also includes a spray and liner with that package. Uh, the Z71 off-road package is 325. Uh, that ups the suspension with twin tube shocks, adds hill descent control, some skid plates in the Z71 package. I was wrong on the rear axle, it's 3.73, not 393. Uh, and that's about it. You're looking at about $6,500 in options, $6,425. And then you have your destination charge, which is $1,600. Puts the whole price of this thing at $61,220. But it gives, there's a package discount in here. I don't know why, whatever. Uh, so add another 500 to that price uh, for probably most buyers. I don't know if everybody gets that discount. Now coming back to it, one of the things I always get asked on three quarter ton or heavy duty pickup trucks, always get asked about fuel economy. Well, what I can say is yours is really gonna vary. Uh, I was getting really close to 20 on the highway with this, fully empty, just me in it. Uh, but I'm at very high altitude here. I'm at 6,400 feet, and that's an 80 mile an hour, uh, 80 mile an hour speed limit freeway. So uh, a lot of people are gonna see a lot of different numbers. You might get a little bit higher numbers in some situations, you might get lower numbers in others. And as soon as you add anything, you add a trailer, you add any kind of cargo, you add more people, whatever, you're gonna see that fuel economy change quick. So uh, what I will say is that you should be easily able to get 18 or better, probably over 20 in most situations if you're driving by yourself empty in this truck on the highway. Now, around town, your fuel economy is gonna suck. And that's because giant truck, huge engine, stop and go. Those are not, all of those things are negatives when it comes to MPGs. So you're gonna have terrible in-city fuel economy, uh, double digits probably all I can give you. So that's what I've got to say about fuel economy. I did not do a really formal test with this where I usually do this uh, this 22 mile loop on the highway so that the uphill and downhill are canceled out and all of that. I did not do it in this, just haven't had time. And honestly, uh, again, my numbers would not equal anybody else's. So there's, it's really kind of pointless. In a vehicle like this, there's a lot of variance. Every little thing changes it. Now, I also did not have time to tow with this, but the last time I had a 2500 from Chevy, I did tow with it and it was wonderful. Now that particular truck, it had the same engine in it. So I would say that the towing is going to be the same, even though this has seen some changes this year. So beautiful for towing. Most three quarter ton trucks are really good at it. This one is no different. Uh, as far as getting in and out of it, ergonomics, things like that, it's a big truck. Uh, there are side rails on this. You can see those in that camera. You can see that step over there. Uh, that does help getting in and out. There are grab handles on the inside of each door. So when you open the door, you reach up, there is a grab handle right there. That's highly useful. There are, what else is, uh, there are grab handles in the back seats too as well. I should point that out. And then once you're in it, it's easy to be in it. Huge roomy seats. They're nicely, nicely done. You sink into them a little bit and that creates a bolster. So the bolsters, while they're not obvious just looking at the seat, they're created by your weight in the seat. Really nicely done, smart. Let's go around the back and check out the working end of this truck. So back here, this is the working end of this truck. You can see the, uh, blacked, the blacked names, the black over there, uh, kind of bring out the, the differences, part of the Z71 package. You can see there's two cameras here. Uh, one of those is your backing camera. The other is a trailer camera. So uh, it does different things when you have a trailer, the camera view is slightly different. Uh, you can see this has all your trailer plugs. It has your big RV plug here and it has the big receiver. Now the receiver down here is oversized because again, three quarter size, three quarter ton truck. You gotta be able to pull a lot with this. I'll give you some towing numbers. Uh, we'll check those out. I'll just run them across the screen and uh, then we'll get into this. now. Soft open tailgate. And again, you can open it from the app or you can open it from the uh, key fob. So you're not limited to just being able to reach, come out here and touch it. Uh, that's pretty cool. Also, uh, you, can, you may be able to see the receivers in there. 
for the gooseneck and uh, safety chains and also for a fifth wheel. You may or may not be able to see that with this camera view, I can't tell. Uh, I got the sun right in my face, so I can't really see this the screen over there. Uh, but you can see the bed. Uh, part of that package I mentioned before includes a spray-on bed liner. And then you can see it's a pretty straightforward working bed here. There are side steps because Chevy, those are included on every GM, every GM truck I've seen. And then you also have side indent steps on the sides. I'll show you a photo so you can see what those look like. I'm, I'm going to call this my Scotty Kilmer view. <laughs> So I talked about these side steps right here for getting into the rear of the bed. Really, really useful. Uh, I'll show you how they work though. I'm just gonna actually do it. Watch. Step up, grab some stuff, back down. So that you can get up in the front part to get into there, uh, grab stuff, do whatever you gotta do. So nicely, nicely done. Very lightweight tailgate. Uh, this is aluminum. Very lightweight tailgate, easy to operate. So you can see when it comes down, comes down slowly and nicely, good dampening on it, right? And then uh, slightly spring-loaded as a result of that. And then when I pick it up, I can literally just with one hand shut the, tra shut the truck. So nicely, nicely done there, smart. All right, so hopefully that tells you everything you need to know about this truck. Uh, I don't know what else to tell you. Rides comfortably, it's a little loud on the highway, um, but most three-quarter ton trucks, especially when they have beefy off-road tires like this, they're all kind of like that. Um, wonderful stereo in this, good drive qualities. And uh, it's, I will say that out of all the heavy-duty trucks I've driven, this, is the, this one is more conducive to the style that I drive in, which means uh, I used to be a truck driver. So when I turn a corner, I don't just turn the corner I go out and do a button hook. I do that especially in a large vehicle. The bigger the vehicle, the more likely I am to do that just out of habit. Uh, this allows me to do that, it just feels comfortable in doing it. Most other big trucks are kind of, you know, take it or leave it with that. This one just feels like it should be towing a trailer all the time. It's kind of a, I don't know, maybe it's a Chevy thing or maybe it's just my impression from sitting behind the wheel of it. Either way, I really like this truck, especially like this red hot color so awesome so that's what i got this has been aaron in front of the 2021 chevrolet silverado 2500 ltz kind of a long name remember back in the day when the longer the name the more luxurious the car was they should bring that back anyway there you go that's what i got talk to you again soon subscribe